I have had a ton of thoughts swirling through my mind uh, the past little while here, and I wanted to take a few minutes and just speak with you, our, our YouTube audience, and um, hopefully figure out um, where I'm going to go. Uh, in this whole YouTube arena that we play in here. For those of you who have followed our channel, you'll remember a couple of years ago, I actually retired. Uh, my son, Brandon, started this channel uh, a few years ago. And when I retired, um, he invited me to join him as a contributor on the channel. And uh, I remember him just saying like, Dad, you can take everything you've learned over all these years uh, and, and bring them to a wider audience and uh, speak with more people. And, and I was very reluctant at first. I thought, you know, it was a crazy idea. I'd never done anything like this. And I'm sort of more old school. And this whole online presence here was something that I, I wasn't really sure, quite fr frankly, that I could handle it. Um, and I was more worried about bringing, uh, adding to his channel rather than, than taking away from it. Uh, it's gone well for me. I've really enjoyed creating the content. I've really enjoyed sharing uh, with the online community that you all are. Uh, I, I think back to al almost two years ago, February 28th of 2021, when Brandon welcomed me onto the channel formally. Um, I have been adopted with open arms, welcomed, and, and uh, I am so thankful to those regular viewers of ours who accepted me onto the channel. And, uh, you know, Brandon had prepared me for the worst uh, when I when it, I decided to come on and he talked to me about the haters and the comments and everything else that you get um, in this arena, this environment that we play in here. Um, and, uh, you know, it really hasn't come to materialize. Yeah, I mean, we've had some naysayers and some uh, opponents to the channel, but for the most part, 99.9% uh, .9 has been a really positive and valuable experience. So uh, I thank you all for that. Since I joined, uh, the channel has definitely evolved. Um, one thing and the most obvious thing that has changed a lot is the group of people that we speak to since I joined. And definitely there is a shift or there has been a shift in demographics. When we look at our channel from a channel wide perspective, so all age groups, about 65% of our viewers are under the age of 45 and we have about 35% over the age of 45. But when we look back more recently at some of our top performing videos, one of the ones I did some time ago, but it still is a very well received video is on retirement and Canada Pension Plan and OAS. 80% of the viewers of that video, as you might expect, are over 45 with only 25% under that age. When you look at a recent video that Brandon did, 75% of the younger audience are more interested in top stock picks, that type of material versus only 25 of the older demographic. And then there are some videos, like I did a video recently talking about uh, investing in the big Canadian banks. And it was pretty much even when you look down this list here, it was pretty much divided right down from you know 25 all the way up to 65 years plus. There's definitely overlap, but without question, our content, our style, uh, appeals to a different uh, group of people. I am saddened that only 25% of our viewers on a regular basis are female with 75% coming in at male. The investing industry is more geared, um, I guess, towards men. But I know having worked with couples that have gone into their senior years, um, it's critical in my opinion that females have a more adaptation uh, of this type of information as well. So uh, that's a topic for another video, I suppose. Uh, when I think back to why Brandon started this channel, uh, his objectives were clear. He wanted to educate, he wanted to inform, um, he wanted to expand the knowledge of the millennial group in particular. That was his main goal. He really wanted to shape the direction of financially related education because he identified, and others have too, there is a, a chronic gap. Uh, there's a huge lack of education that people get when they're going through uh, the education system. So he saw uh, a niche there that he wanted to, to speak with. Um, since I've joined the group, as I mentioned, the demographic has shifted. Now, the purpose of this video, the purpose that I have in mind is to listen to what you, our audience, wants from me. And I'm going to cut right to the chase, I guess. Um, I am considering starting a second channel that would be sort of partnered up with the Investing Academy here. Uh, I'm retired. As I say, a couple of years ago, I retired. And one of the things I'm very mindful of is I always counseled my clients that I worked with who went into retirement, who had some thoughts of perhaps working past their, their official retirement. 
if you're enjoying something, if you're doing it, um, do it for the right reasons. Do it because you're enjoying it and you're and you're contributing and you're having fun, not just because you have to. And I want to be mindful that I'm not ignoring that advice. And uh, we've had some comments from the from the odd viewer from time to time that maybe I should start a second. Um, channel and uh, others have said, well, you know, Mark seems to be enjoying his retirement, so you know, why would we mess with that? And so I am factoring that all into the into the big decision here. But uh, this is fun for me. Uh, a few things that come to my mind. First of all, I get to work with my son, so I recognize how special that is, um, and it's it's an opportunity that not that many people get. And so the fact that we're two years in now and and still enjoying working together is a real plus. So that's uh, I look at as a, as a positive. I get to stay involved more intimately with the industry that I spent my entire adult life um, working in for the most part. So uh, I know a lot of advisors that I've, uh, you know, I've been acquainted with over the years when they retire, they kind of get they pull back and get out of the industry altogether. Um, I find it very interesting. That's what kept me uh, vigor and invigorated for all the years I worked in the industry. So that's a bonus. Um, and a third kind of a, a, a lesser important benefit, I guess, of working with Brandon here is, is the video editing. And, you know, when I think back to my younger days, I was that guy who would always show up at the parties and the gatherings with, you know, the old handy cams and, and the eight millimeters. And I would be taking video. And of course, back in the day, everybody hated the fact that I was there doing it. But now... 30, 40 years later, people look back and are just, you know, it's so precious to have that footage. Of course, today, you know, every moment of everybody's lives is documented, but it wasn't back in the day. I guess that what I'm saying is this, I'm considering doing this, but uh, I'm going to ask for your feedback in all this. And I'll say, I'm not just here gratuitously soliciting comments for the algorithm, because I know that's a common thing to do on YouTube channels, but I do honestly want, and I value your input because, um, you know, I've always felt if you want to grow a business or if you want to grow a channel like this on YouTube, you have to give your audience what they want or they're going to tune out. And that's you know a, a, a premise of anything, of having success in anything that you do. So, oh, a quick note here as well. Um, if I do decide to start a new channel, I am going to continue to post here as well, probably on a less frequent basis, uh, you know, split my time maybe between a more focused uh, channel that would be, you know, demographically 45 and plus in that area. Uh, but I will probably have a presence on both if I go that route. I'm considering topics like pensions and CPP and old age security, those types of things that people of our age are more um, concerned about. Uh, obviously investing in retirement, it takes on a little bit of a different look than it does when you're younger. Uh, even the years leading up to retirement, and so maybe say five years before, 10 years before, 15 years before, um, you actually pull the pin on work. I'm thinking about that type of, of uh, content. Um, the overall financial security, stability uh, that you want to have in your later years, things like taxation issues, um, things like the psychology of being retired. Uh, man, it's not always an easy thing. I worked with clients who really struggled going into their retirement years. And so uh, I, I recognize the fact that there is a need for some education in that regard. But that's basically what I'm thinking is trying to build a new community or expand on the community that we have here right now, uh, but focusing on my peers, focusing on um, the older demographic. So that's, you know, retired or close to retired or, you know, people who are just younger maybe, but seriously um, doing the right things today so that they can retire comfortably. So that's kind of what has been on my mind the last little while. I sincerely want your feedback. Uh, please leave a comment below uh, with a, you know, if you think it's a good idea or not, but more importantly perhaps is, um, what are some content? What are the types of videos you feel would appeal to an older demographic? And then I'll factor that all in as I make my final decision here in the coming weeks. Um, either way, uh, I'm not going anywhere. I will be staying either as it is today or uh, branching off uh, on a new venture here. If you are feeling nostalgic, uh, two years ago, almost February 28th, 2021, as I mentioned, uh, Brandon introduced me to the channel and I will put a link to that video here that you can go back and look for for old time's sake. Uh, I do thank you for watching the video. I thank you for the input that I'm hoping you'll provide here. And I do, of course, look forward to seeing you in the next video.